hello my call sign is kilo Juliet one kilo and I operate as a microwave rover out of my Honda element uh, during the uh, uh, VHF UHF uh, contests and the demo to, that I'm going to do today is uh, for an Arduino uh, rotor controller which I built to control my Yezu uh, rotor. The Yezu rotor is a, uh, a DC rotor uh, that's normally intended to operate on uh, 18 volts. And it can be operated for light loads on 12 volts, uh, but it's a little marginal, although I've done that for a number of years uh, without a, any serious problems. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this controller is operated at 18 volts. So I have a power supply here, uh, which is a 12 volt power supply feeding a DC to DC converter, uh, which provides the 18 volts um, to the uh, uh, rotor controller. The rotor controller uh, is based on the Arduino open hardware project and the Arduino open hardware project um, defines uh, standard uh, uh, printed circuit boards that have uh, microcontrollers on them and uh, uh, then you can also get shields uh, so-called shields uh, which are interface boards which sandwich on top of them and provide interfaces uh, to uh, specific hardware. Uh, in this case, uh, there's basically a chip in there that's an H switch to uh, control the DC uh, uh, voltage to the motor. Um, the uh, uh, Arduino project also has uh, numerous uh, software libraries uh, where you can uh, uh, get uh, functions uh, uh, that uh, do the low-level uh, uh, control that you're necessary uh, uh, to talk to uh, different devices. So uh, I'm uh, uh, basically uh, using as much the Arduino project as I can. And uh, I control the uh, Arduino uh, from, uh, from a laptop normally. Uh, the laptop I use uh, when I uh, go out, I have a logging program called Rovalog, and that's my logging program. And uh, one of the features of Rovalog is that it can control a rotor. Contr a rotor. Um, and uh, they don't list the Yezu rotor, but uh, basically uh, I, I uh, wrote the code to uh, look like one of the rotors that they list. Uh, so that's what I, I did there. Um, I also have the, you can't see the rotor, but uh, I have the uh, rotor uh, on a uh, aluminum uh, mast here connected to a mechanical dial. Uh, I don't know if you can read the, uh, the red line on there, um, but it shows that it's at 180 degrees now. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to assume that I'm operating from the eastern overlook of Mount Greylock, which is in Maidenhead, Grid Squared, uh, Fox Nancy 32 Kilo Papa. Uh, and when I'm operating from that point, I'm going to try and point my vehicle as close to north as I can without obstructing the traffic lane and that turns out to be about uh, a true bearing of uh, 20 degrees. Uh, so uh, let's assume that the first uh, station I'd like to contact is K1WHS. So I go to my Rovalog program and I put in his call sign K1WHS and uh, uh, the program says he's in Fox Nancy 43 Mike Juliet and then I can there's a calc module 
calculator module and uh, it says that the raw bearing is 63.9 degrees and uh, I vented my offset at 20 degrees so it's really going to command it to uh, to 43 degrees because this uh, presently truncates I might fix that uh, one of these days uh, so uh, I give it the command to move the rotor and uh, it'll drive off there and we'll see uh, how that works Okay, that looks uh, pretty good there. Uh, looks like it's uh, at 44 degrees there. And uh, let's assume that uh, we do the QSO and we log that. And then maybe the next thing uh, we might want to do is uh, talk to another station like uh, K1MAP. And K1MAP is in Fox Nancy 32 Sierra Bravo. And uh, if we uh, do the calc function on that, it says that the raw bearing to him is 139.6 degrees. Uh, so the, uh, uh, if you take the 20 degrees off, it's going to command 119 degrees. So if I, let's see if we go there. <laughs> Okay, we, uh, we get that done, and uh, again, we're going to assume that we log that contact, and maybe the uh, next uh, station, maybe we want to talk to is K1TEO. Well, K1TEO is in Fox Nancy 31 uh, Juliet Hotel, and uh, if we do the calculation there, that's uh, a, a raw bearing of 182 degrees, uh, and uh, the commanded would then be 162 degrees. So we run off to 162 degrees to talk to Jeff. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so uh, if, let's assume we make that QSO, and uh, maybe for a, a final QSO, maybe we'll look for K3. TUF down there in uh, uh, Fox Nancy 10 Whiskey Echo and uh, do the calculation there the uh, bearing is the uh, raw bearing is 223 degrees uh, so we're going to command 203 degrees and uh, we'll move the rotor to 203 degrees there Okay, uh, looks like it's a little high there, almost, uh, almost 205, about two degrees off. So uh, again, we'll assume that we made that QSO and we log it, and then let's uh, maybe think that uh, our operation at this site might be over, and we might want to uh, uh, move on to another site. So uh, the easiest thing to do then is simply to reset the uh, microcontroller by pushing the reset button and the default commanded angle is 180 degrees, goes to 180 degrees and uh, we secure everything and uh, move on to the next site. Uh, we also do have uh, a manual capability uh, that we can, um, uh, you know, drive the rotor uh, manually uh, to any angle we want and that's uh, that could be particularly helpful if the computer should die or something like that at least we know we can uh, uh, still point the rotors and still make the contacts so um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, demonstration and uh, thank you very much for your interest this is KJ1K Arova.